Kababayan today, ngayon naman, kasama natin si Deacon Raymond Medina. Hi! Hello, good afternoon, <laughs> happy new year to you. Thank you, thank you very much for being here. I'm very interested to find out about what led you to your faith and your commitment to your faith. What are what are the steps involved? Because, um, of course, uh, Father Riddell was talking to us about it, and, mm -hmm. and it's not for sure. everyone, right? right. Yes. So, so what steps led up to you deciding? Yes, I know you guys have been talking about transitions, and transition was a big thing for me in my life, leading up to entering the seminary and becoming ordained a deacon. But even prior to that, um, the transition that I made was sort of a career transition, meaning to say, in high school, I really fell in love with biology and physiology and human anatomy. And so I figured I can make a career out of this. And out of high school, I actually wanted to become an ER doctor. Mm -hmm. And so I was actually pre-med at UCLA. Wow. But in the midst of that, I figured out, you know what, this is not exactly the life of service that I was being called to undertake. Um, my grandfather, who was instrumental in my life, became sick. And it was affirming to take care of him, to help care for his health but at the same time I started to realize there's something deeper going on here mm -hmm. and it was that transition towards caring spiritually instead of the body that I was being called to do so I was being called to serve the spiritual needs rather than the uh, the physical needs as well okay and then after prayer and talking with people I figured out you know what God is calling me to enter the seminary to study to become a priest. And seven years later, <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Wonderful, yes. what a journey it's yeah. been for you. Yeah. It has been, yes. So how does that um, speak to our community? Mm -hmm. um, of course, tayo mga Pilipino, pagpupunta tayo sa simbahan, iba talaga yung pastor natin, Pilipino, di ba? Yeah. What does that say about our community, Father? Uh, well, um, that means to say, you know, that they, they're able to relate with us mm -hmm. better, mm -hmm. you know, that we can relate with them. A and, and that they, having uh, one of their own become a priest, is, is a, it's a pride. Absolutely. It's a big, yeah. Yes. They're so proud about, I'm sure your parents are so proud of you. Oh, and, yes. And the <laughs> Filipino community of Carson, where they, uh, it's Filomena, that's where he comes from. He grew up there. So, you know, it's, it's a pride. For, mm -hmm. for anyone to have Filipino priests because in the Philippines we, 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 uh, being a priest it's a, it's a novel calling mm -hmm. aside from not the, everybody is yes. called right <laughs> so it is very it's, it's a very special vocation yes, it is. isn't it uh, we're talking about you know it's the new year and oh. as a parent it's mm -hmm. very important that we surround our children with people that inspire sure. them you know okay. uh, so I know that for father uh, he knew from a very early age because he was surrounded around that environment was it the same for you it was the same for me um, I grew up what you call cradle Catholic meaning from the cradle to even now <laughs> um, I was surrounded by Catholic life I actually have an uncle who is a priest in the Philippines. Wonderful. Our family grew up in the very church environment. Okay. So I was very much surrounded by it and they were very instrumental in actually helping me to enter into the seminary and to come to, a, to my vocation. Well, right. thank you yeah. so much for being here. It's very inspiring to talk to you. Um, please invite the viewers, should they be interested to follow this path? I think Raymond should be the one inviting our young people. <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> Absolutely. Um, be open to the call that God has for you in your life. You know, it's as simple as that. Many times we just need to open our ears a little bit and see where God is calling us. Be open to that. Wonderful. And, uh, share that vocation with everyone. All right. Thank you very yes. much uh -huh. for spending your new year here on Kababayan today. Maraming salamat po sa pagnood nyo. And thank you so much for joining us on the first of the year. We'll see you all again soon. Thank you.